Rope is about the perfect murder. Two students have killed one of their fellow students, and to prove their intellectual superiority, they have placed the body into a chest and are having a dinner party for their friends and also the father of the person they've slain. It's a really fascinating play. It was written in 1929, but because the writer Patrick Hamilton is very socially conscious, there's a real interesting kind of dynamic in the play. You listen to it and the themes are actually very timeless. The discussions that are being had about morality and about superiority and Nietzschean ideas of kind of what society is feel really timeless. And I think the, it's what drew me to the play because it's just this idea of kind of like how far can someone get away with murder if they're just playing the societal game. And that it's only when there's someone who is disconnected from society, in this case a wounded war veteran, that their scheme is actually undone because he's so disconnected from everything he sees just how odd and how weird everything is whereas all the other party guests are so kind of tied to the notions of civility and kind of what, what's the right thing to do that they're just ignoring all of the absolute you know red flags about this Early on in the play, one of the characters, Layla Arden, who has no reason whatsoever to suspect that her friends have murdered someone, starts making jokes about there being a body in the chest. Now, there is a body in the chest, but as I said, she has no reason to know that. And it comes across as really odd. But when I was speaking to someone who was an expert on the period, they were explaining that at the time, murder was like the big pop culture phenomenon. Like, the newspapers were just full of kind of like big, high-profile murders. And he equated it to the current times that we live in, where people are really interested in murder podcasts or Netflix documentaries about murders, that it is all the craze. And so it's exactly the same thing, that kind of like these are people who their kind of like main kind of pop culture, their main kind of connection with media is coming through. Uh, you know, through the newspapers and all about murders. The play itself is based on a very famous uh, trial uh, by two American students called Leopold and Loeb. And this, like, trial where they murdered a fellow student and essentially, for very similar reasons to Brandon Grillo, dominated in newspapers for years. And so when Patrick Hamilton is writing this story about two students who've essentially murdered a fellow student and put their body into a chest, that audience in 1929 knows exactly what he's on about because it is just tapping into that popular zeitgeist. And my job as a director is to ensure that we can convey that level of zeitgeist to a modern audience and make them understand exactly what that essentially is all about.